Welcome to Raw Online Teaching Program. I am Dr. Monica, your pediatric faculty. So today's class, we are going to see about the type of tracheoesophageal fistula. So this may be often confusing, like which type is more common and in which type you can see a gasless abdomen. So there may be a potential MCQs in all these areas. So we'll just focus on the type of tracheoesophageal fistula. And uh, moving on to the clinical presentation. So Postnatally, uh, the newborn will present with a tracheoesophageal fistula signs and symptoms depending upon the presence or absence as well as where it is located, where the fistula is located. So, in general, if you see, infants often present with excessive salivation and vomiting soon after the feedings. They may develop respiratory distress. That respiratory distress may be due to airway obstruction because of excessive secretions there will be aspiration of saliva or milk and there will be compromised pulmonary capacity because of a diaphragmatic elevation and secondary to the abdominal distension and there will be a reflex of gastric contents up to the distal esophagus into the lungs. So, these may be the reasons for respiratory distress for the newborn baby immediately after the postnatal period. Okay. So, regarding the gross classification, this is the classification which classifies the types of the tracheoesophageal fistula. So, if you see uh, in the type A, there is only pure esophageal atresia is there with no fistula. Okay. So, pure esophageal atresia with no fistula. And type B, if you see, there is esophageal atresia, but the fistula is seen in the proximal side. And uh, in type C, there is esophageal fistula, esophageal atresia and the fistula is in the distal part of the esophagus. And in type uh, D, if you see, both uh, fistulas like proximal fistula and the distal fistula is present. And type E, it is commonly called as H-type fistula. So, if you see, it looks like a H-type, H-type fistula and type F, which is a normal. Okay. So, regarding the incidence, the more common form of the tracheoesophageal fistula is the type C fistula, that is proximal esophageal atresia with a distal fistula. It contributes around 85 percent. And if you see, uh, while doing a chest x-ray, you will be able to see the coiling of the nasogastric tube in the upper tracheal part. And also you will be able to visible the gastric, that is the antral gas shadow will, is also be visible. So, this tells about the type of fistula roughly by doing a radiology, that is x-ray chest. So, this is the most common form of the fistula, uh, that is distal gas is present. Whereas, the next another common form is uh, type A fistula, where there is True esophageal atresia without fistula, which contributes around 6 percent, which contributes around 6 percent. And uh, this type B, uh, where there is proximal fistula, but there is no distal connection. Since there is no distal connection, there is absent of gastric shadow. So, only there will be coiling will be present, but gastric shadow will be absent. That is gasless abdomen. So, gasless abdomen is seen in two conditions, either in type A also gasless abdomen and type B also gasless abdomen. And this proximal tracheal esophageal fistula, the incidence is very less, almost 3 percent. And coming to the type D, type D is very rare, that is almost only 1 percent is type D. And uh, this H type fistula, the incidence is approximately 6 percent. This H -lead, where in all this there is a distal connection, so the gas will be present in all these conditions. Okay, so by this way you are classifying the tracheoesophageal fistula into five types. So here is an X-ray, chest X-ray showing the. Here can you able to see there is a coiling of uh, the nasogastric tube, and at the same time you will be able to visualize the gastric shadow. So, maybe this may be a common type that is the type C tracheoesophageal fistula where there is proximal esophageal atresia with the distal tracheoesophageal fistula. And this x-ray again here you can visit, you can able to see appreciate that is the coiling of uh, the nasogastric tube in the 
upper trachea and you can see the absence of gastric shadow so this is maybe the the another form where only the proximal esophageal atresia is present with no distal connection so either it may be a true esophageal atresia or it may be a esophageal atresia with a proximal tracheoesophageal fistula